happy Sunday. I hope mosque was good for you. Mosque, Islam. I'm a Muslim. Yeah. All right. And today, this video is the day three prelims result of interest. Uh, so day three is 19th of June, 2022, because we include all sports here. And this is for the 2022 World Aquatics Championships. My lawyers have verified and approved all content in this video and video description, but that's just a silly little line, so take it or leave it. Um, or don't even think about it. Logistics. If you don't like bad news, this is not the section for you. You can check the video description. Timestamps are provided for the different sections of the video, and links are provided to uh, related components, such as the soundtrack playlist and stuff like that. So, let's see if we can speed through this. The hottie Prince Lou came by today with Miley Cyrus and Cody Simpson. She is expecting a baby girl with her husband, Adam Levine, and brought her favorite dessert, strawberry shortcake, to celebrate. Yes, we had it for breakfast. Miley Cyrus and Cody Simpson are pregnant, pregnant with a baby girl as well and are deciding on whether to keep her. Up next, predator alert, all caps. Cody Simpson has raped both Miley Cyrus and Emma McKeon. Cody Simpson raped Emma McKeon before and at the 2020 Summer Olympic Games to take credit for her success. This was the premeditated type of rape, and now the Commonwealth and American press are propagating Emma McKeon wanted it by saying they are together, like in a relationship, when in reality, Cody raped Emma. The press do this because they supported Cody before, during, and after the rape and truly believe Cody is responsible for Emma's success at the 2020 Summer Olympic Games. Swim Swam is publishing this so ho is pushing this so hard that they gave him the cover of a multi-month print magazine issue after denying such a cover to Emma McKeon following her success because they say her successes are all due to Cody. Emma is the most decorated female swimmer at a single Olympic Games and the most decorated athlete in any sport at the 2020 su Summer Olympic Games. This is not a first for my biographies. People Magazine published a cover of Zoe Saldana's rapist, Idris Elba, in a similar fashion after Elba raped Zoe. Um, the number of People Magazine covers is equal to the number of times Idris Elba raped Zoe Saldana. That kind of thing. Also, the rapists, um, so this is going to the next thing. Emma is not my only biography that has been raped. So has Lydia Jacoby, Yulia Efimova, Sarah Jostrom, Zoe Saldana, Gregorio Paltrinieri, and Natalie Hines. Um, the rapists for these, the, also the rapists are selling their videotapes as sex tapes. So if you ever see a sex tape of any of these people, in reality, it's probably, well, not probably, in it, it's a rape tape. So what you're watching is rape. Congratulations. You just supported their rape. Um, up next, asking for your help. If you're not so triggered, you can't act. And you feel like being a kind soul. If you see any of my biographies, and they are having a hard time. So this is on the About tab of my YouTube channel. I list my biographies. So if you see any of them, and they are having a hard time, me and our publishers ask you to say, quote, their name. Remember, you have a biographer. Her name is Tannis Coralie Leonardi, end quote. To Cody Simpson, if you are watching, and the rapists of my other biographies, I killed the man who raped me. And I killed the man who raped a friend of mine that I was living with in Montana in 2015. I bashed his skull in with my own two hands. Leave all of my biographies, me, and our families, including friends and pets, alone, or the same fate awaits you. And I want to say a huge thank to my husbands, Kyle Leonardi, Andre Leonardi, Caleb Leonardi, Dane Leonardi, and Nicolo Leonardi, Andrew Leonardi, and so on, for your support through all this. So there's the bad news. Ban it off. The rest of the day is already looking brighter. I got to see my Lee Cyrus. All right, Cut and have strawberry shortcake with her for breakfast. Countries of interest results. Artistic swimming, team technical routine. Canada, Italy, Japan competed in all advanced to the final. Pool swimming, 100 meter backstroke female. France, Great Britain, Italy, South Africa competed. France, Great Britain, Italy advanced to the semifinals. 
100, pool swimming, 100 meter backstroke, male. Egypt, France, Great Britain, Italy, South Africa competed. Again, South Africa in the exhibition hall for this. You went a 49.66 long course meters. All right, and France, Great Britain, Italy, all advanced to the semifinals. Yeah, I mean, this, the exhibition hall, we commandeered that. Uh, well, technically, FINA did for recruitment. They're trying to get us to compete at this, and I'm just like, fuck no. Um, yeah, pardon my language. All right, so, and then, so for this race, France, Great Britain, Italy advanced to the semifinals. And pool swimming, 100 meter breaststroke, female. France, Great Britain, Italy, South Africa competed. And Great Britain, Italy, and South Africa advanced to the semifinals. Yeah. That's, that's female, female. Okay, so the South African is Lara Van Niekerk. The pool swimming, 200 meter freestyle, male. Egypt, France, Great Britain, Italy, South Africa competed in France, Great Britain, Italy, South Africa advanced to the semifinals. And the last event of the preliminaries this morning across all sports is pool swimming, 1,500 meter, 1,500 meter freestyle, female. Italy and South Africa competed in Italy advanced to the final. Those are the country of interest results. Our next lone penguins of interest results. Oh, we did a lot of stuff. Today was an artistic swimming day in the exhibition hall. We did a bunch of artistic swimming, the Lone Penguins and I. We're gonna leave it at that. Medal table, no update, no medals were handed out. Boo. All right, medalists. <laughs> they just do a really bad job in structuring this cat. I was just like, there should be medals handed out in the morning and the evening. Keep, view, have prelims and finals, both morning and evening, and semifinals, morning and evening. Different sports. There's more than one sport going on. It does not seem like optimization of putting together a sporting event. At least from a spectator's standpoint, it's like they try to make it as boring as possible. Zero entertainment value. Yep. Medalists. No new medalist updates because no new medals. Other interest speaking res <laughs> results. I'm back to the Wikipedia page I created. Lonnie Pollister advanced to the final of the 1500 meter freestyle. Female and the top four from preliminaries: uh, Analia Pigrei. Um, she advanced to the semifinals of the hundred meter backstroke. Uh, so really, the American Trust press tried to force her. She so she's she qualified for the world championships, and then the American press tried to force her out of the championships. So. Bad no no. It's like USA stealing all the South Africa entry street sheets or like half the team's entry streets. Corruption abounds in American swimming and the press, American press that covers swimming. So these are some upbeat, more upbeat <laughs> way to conclude this. Good morning and happy day or good evening and happy day or good midday, something like that.